Hi, I'm Jacob Beals, and this is my show. And some good news to begin off this episode is it's the end of the school year. But for some sad news, the end of the school year means switching places of living. And that means this will be the last episode in this specific apartment of the show. And uh, I, it's been a great time in here at Studio J. I, I don't know. I just thought of that name. I, I should have used that like before, you know, called this place Studio J. But it's too late now because I'm leaving. But as far as apartments go, this place has been really good to me. It's been a great place to study and focus. And I hadn't really been doing my show until like this school year. And this place has been a great area to like shoot and make videos and it, it kind of in a way just the setup of it inspired me to start making videos again and uh, that may sound kind of weird but it's been a good environment for that anyway i wanted to shoot one last episode in here and while i was like cleaning out my apartment i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do um i knew i kind of wanted to do something sort of fun but the idea i came up with might be kind of dumb but i thought it would kind of reflect on the year in a really interesting way and i got the idea actually just from cleaning and uh, i was looking through stuff i had and i noticed that I had more stuff in the apartment as the year went on than I came up with at the start of it. You know, more stuff accumulated in here from this past school year. And I just thought, what if I took some of that random stuff and showed it off to you guys? I don't know if that'd be a fun idea tonight or, or not, but I, I'm gonna do it regardless. So here are some things that I got from this past school year, and maybe they'll kind of reflect and show what this last school year was like. So at the start of each year, there's always a poster sale, and I really like to go to the poster sale because I like posters. You guys have seen those two uh, quite frequently in these videos, but um, I decided to buy one at this poster sale at the beginning of the year, and it's really stuck with me as time has gone on, stuck with me. Poster's been there for me through the tough times. Katniss has, that's for sure. But um, this poster has been really awesome. I was so glad to get it and excited when I got it at the beginning of the year because it's off one of my favorite shows. I think you saw it in one of my videos before, but I'm gonna show it off again because I'm still excited about it, and it's the Stranger Things poster. One time I went to the health center on campus, and after my appointment, I got this fun little ice pack, and you're supposed to freeze it because it's an ice pack, but I chose not to freeze it because I like just to like squeeze it and it's kind of like a stress ball thing. Like there's all these like little things in here that are fun to squeeze. But I don't think you're supposed to pop them because it would ruin the idea of it being an ice pack if you did. So I have to be careful and I just squeeze around them. Now a lot of you probably know that I write for the Iowa State Daily and I write for the Arts and Entertainment section specifically. We're called Limelight. You should check us out. There's a lot of awesome articles that we've came out with this year. But um, when I do go write for them, I get to cover a lot of concerts and write about them and review them. And when I go to those concerts, I always take notebooks with me. Well, this notebook right here has been with me through a lot of the concerts that happened this last year. And if you open it up, there's a lot of really bad handwriting but a lot of notes as well about those shows and this is just kind of a fun way to look back on the concerts you've covered and of course it helps the articles too when you're writing them speaking of the newspaper um our section actually had a little award show at the end of the year and um they were like called the limelight awards and we they uh gave me a few awards so i thought i'd show them off in this video too first of all i won three limes get it because we're limelight and i have these three limes now and i have no idea what to do with them i've had them for over a week and they've just been sitting on my desk uh, maybe i should make like key lime pie but i don't know how to do that so i'm not gonna i'm just gonna let them sit on my desk but they also gave me this awesome trophy and uh, i i'm so thankful for this they really didn't have to do that and uh it's been a pleasure writing for them and it's just been an amazing year with the iowa state daily that has definitely been one of the big highlights of the school year probably the biggest one actually i was also given this awesome guitar pick necklace from a local band called kickstart the sun and i have had the pleasure to cover them in a few articles of mine and um they're just a bunch of awesome guys they do they have great music and they're one of the many amazing bands and names that i've gotten to see and watch and cover over the you know course of my time here it's amazing how cool the music scene is and these guys have just been really nice to me and really awesome and um you should definitely go check them out their music's on youtube and spotify and it's been a pleasure to write about them and just be friends with them also in this school year i got into more into football and i had never really been into football at all growing up but this last season i was really into i watched several games and i had just a blast with it and um as the year went on like i would go to like the, the this relates to football don't worry so in a weird way but um as the year went on i go to like these uh quarter machines that gave out little toys in restaurants and there would always be like an nfl 
themed one. And when I saw one with an NFL themed one, I'd always go to it and put in some money and I'd get an NFL prize, you know, a little trinket or something. And some of them gave out like these little footballs um, that like came in these little things, you know, uh, and like they look like that. I don't know if you can, and that one's disassembled by the way, but there was this one specific one in Dairy Queen that I would always go to no matter what, and it gave out like NFL helmet stickers. And my favorite team is the Vikings. I kind of adapted that because my dad's a Vikings fan, and I would always want to get a Vikings sticker just so I, I could say I got it, you know. And it felt like I won something in a way. It, it would give me a good feeling inside, you know. Felt like luck had finally gone my way. But anyway, I would always get like teams that I didn't want. Like I got the uh, the Eagles at one point, and then. Uh, you know, I got the Broncos here and you know, some people might really love these, but I, I just have all these random ones that I didn't want. Uh, but eventually I did get a Vikings one and here's the Vikings one. I'm super proud of this. I haven't stuck it on my laptop yet, but I really feel like I should, or maybe I should just keep it on the sticker because it, it's just such a cool memory. I don't know. I changed uh, deodorant since this year and I'm pretty sure I have like more girls around me now that I did that so it's been a plus. Uh, I used to wear the original Old Spice, this red one, you know, but I got rid of that and I switched to this one that's called, uh, I don't even know the name, but it's something with spruce and it smells really good. I really like it even though I can't say the name right now, but I, I, it's like Denali. I think that's how you say it. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But it's been a good switch. Like I said, more ladies. I bought some cereal this year. And at the beginning of the year, I bought some Frosted Flakes. And I'm not going to show off the Frosted Flakes because everybody's seen those. I'm going to show off something really unique. I got inside the Frosted Flakes. And it's I kept it in the wrapper. That's how special it is to me. It's a Ghostbusters bookmark with Slimer on it. I mean, I was so excited when I got this. I, like, never get cool cereal prizes. But this one is, like, in my top five favorite cereal prizes. I also bought loads and loads of textbooks this year. Way too many to bring in this video. I don't want to bore you guys with all that. But I did buy one that's very near and dear to my heart because it's one of my favorite stories ever. I took a children's literature class this year, you know, like a history of it. And one of the ones we had to buy was Charlotte's Web. And I was so excited to read this again. It was just as good the second time. And I've seen the movies, both versions, a million times. But this is one of my favorite stories ever. Wilbur and Charlotte are awesome. I saw a ton of movies this year. Um, not so many in the Ames Movie Theater. I think I only saw three in the Ames Movie Theater, and that was Beauty and the Beast, uh, Kong Skull Island, and this other one, which was my favorite out of all those three, and it was Logan. I love this movie, Logan. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, see it. I also bought stamps for the first time this year. Um, here's a closer look at them. I have three left. Uh, I, I didn't know you could just buy one at a time. So when the guy asked me I, how many I wanted, I just said like a round number. I was like, oh, I guess four. Uh, but yeah, so you can buy one at a time. I found that out. There's, you know, every time you do something new, there's always trials and you make mistakes. And that was my biggest mistake this year, buying more stamps than I had to. That's not actually my biggest mistake, but that was one of them. And I also bought envelopes with them. It was the first time I went out of my way to buy envelopes as well. So fun fact there. I'm also a professional hoarder of coins. And uh, this is just some of this year's collection. Each day I come home and I just like put coins on the table that I've collected from the past day change I've gotten and it accumulates. And that's why I have so much. At the beginning of the year, I meant to show this off in a video a long time ago. My friend Richard uh, got me this Dale Jarrett signed card and he's an awesome dude. I, he's such a great friend. I talk to him about racing like every day on Facebook and he's been just an amazing guy. He always comments and likes on my videos and I really appreciate that, man. I know you're going to be watching this one, so thank you. But yeah, it was really awesome when he got me this signed Dale Jarrett card because Dale Jarrett has been somebody I've looked up to for a very long time, and uh, he's been one of my favorite race car drivers ever. And when I got this in the mail from him, I couldn't believe it. I was like, that was super generous of him. And I just want to thank him again for, for getting me this. So thank you, Richard. Here's one of the last remaining mints I have from this year. Um, I normally have like a lot of those winter green lightsabers, but um, not sabers, savers. Uh, I always mess up on that but lightsaber mints that'd be so cool like lightsaber shaped mints I, someone needs to do that and just call them lightsabers with the same logo as lifesavers but i i don't I, I don't know if that'd go over too well with them. You, you might get sued, but it's a cool idea. Uh, somebody needs to do that. There's a little tangent that I shouldn't have went on. But yeah, I, I eat like a mint every day. I they're, they're a really good part of my diet. Probably not a good part, but they're a regular part of my diet. I also have this photo strip of me and my friends, Caleb and Sammy. Um, I made 
so many awesome memories with them and other friends too over the course of this year and really my whole life. But this year has once again been filled with great memories with friends. I mean, it always is. And that's always one of my favorite things to look back on is all the things that I've done with my friends. And they've all been awesome to me and they've stuck with me and just been great people. So I want to th say thank you to all of them for just being wonderful because I, I, I'm i blessed with so many great people in my life. It, it's amazing. And it, it's great when you can like take things like this from those special nights and fun times you have, you know, and, and just look back on them. So I really hope you enjoyed me talking about some of the things I accumulated over this last school year. I know I had a good time bringing it together and telling you all about it, but um, I hope you're all doing really well and really awesome. And uh, thank you for making this room uh, and these videos into what they are, something even more special. You know, uh, it's been fun making videos again this year, and I hope to do it even more over the summer and in the next school year in different rooms, but this room definitely holds a special place in my heart. And I have to go write a paper here pretty soon, So, uh, but it, I, I really want to make another video before I left here. And I hope you're all doing really well and have an awesome day, an awesome week. And thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it, each and every one of you. And I'll be seeing you all later. Bye.